Hi, you guys. I am back with another word. Two words, actually. This is not, I was not planning on this. Oh my goodness. God is so, he has a sense of humor. I'm telling you because um, I woke up this morning. My husband woke, like I woke up and my husband, like after I was up for like an hour, just drinking coffee, whatever, my husband's like, oh, Roxy has an appointment this morning. And I'm like, I didn't make an appointment for her. And so he's like, well, somebody did. And I go, it must've been the salon because I didn't do it. And I said, I've, I always do. And I put it in my phone. I said, I did not make her an appointment. And so I, um, when I take her to get groomed, I usually stay out and about. And I was like, well, you know, um, I almost canceled it. And I just felt the Holy Spirit was like, nope, you need to get out there and you're going to do a word today. And I was just like, okay, Lord, <laughs> you're getting me unstuck. So you get me all, um, you know, I haven't even, I, I'm a mess, no makeup, no nothing, but I don't care. And I told the Lord that I go, Lord, I don't like doing words, you know, for you. Cause I'm representing you. And you know, I'm, I look a mess today. And he was just like, do you think I care? <laughs> That's exactly what I heard in my spirit. Do you think I care? And so it's not about me. It's about him and, and what he has to say and what he wants to do with me. And so he is definitely getting me unstuck. He has a sense of humor. I did not make this appointment for my dog. I did not. And then all of a sudden, and I, I said, let me see the text. And so sure enough, she had an appointment and I'm like, I didn't do it. So it's funny. So anyway, um, I have two words. I have an older word that I received back in April of 2022. And when I opened up, I thought that I had to bring this today. Usually I don't even bring this, but the Lord has just been reminding me of certain, um, or just reminding me that I have older words that he has given me that I have not released yet. And so, um, it's, a, it's time for me to start releasing these words, um, is what I, I, he's telling me, you know, I just know in my spirit. And, um, and so I, I opened up my journal and this word that I'm going to release the first one pretty much lines up with the word, the second one. So anyway, I'm going to pray and I'm going to give you these words. I'm going to try and make my videos shorter so they don't take as long to upload. Like I said yesterday, um, but today is January 2nd, 2023. And, and I'm back three days in a row. God is so funny. <laughs> He's so good. You guys. So, um, anyway, um, let me pray heavenly father in the name of Jesus. I just thank you. Thank you, father God for getting me unstuck. You said you were going to get me unstuck and you did. And even if you know, I'm out of my comfort zone with no makeup and whatever. You, God, are so funny and so awesome and so good. And you just said, nope, get out there and, and release my words. And so I thank you, Father, for the honor that, um, just for the honor, Father, to get before your children and to get before your people to, to deliver your words, Father, to, to um, release them into the atmosphere, to release them into the earth, Father God, and to encourage your people. That is my calling right now, is to encourage your people and um, to give them, Father, the words that you've spoken and that you want them to hear in this hour. And so I ask that they will just go forth and that they will just bless your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and that it'll give them marching orders um, to, to do what you want them to do, Father God, with these words. Um, and that they will just, that they will be blessed and encouraged and, and, um, that you will just have your way in their hearts, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you, Father God. We love you. We glorify your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, amen. Okay. So I got this word on, uh, 418, 2022 at 725 in the morning. And this is what he says. Glory to my name. Glory to my name. My glory is here. Yes, it is with you now. Miracles, signs, and wonders are here for my beautiful children to put on display for me, your king. Don't hesitate when I tell you to lay your hands to heal. Just do it. The time is now that's in bold to move on my to move on behalf of me, the great I am. I receive I will receive glory to my name. Go, children. Go for I am with you. Put your faith in me and what I, the great I am, will do. Remember, it is in my name, the name of Jesus, 
that saves, delivers, and heals. Trust in my name, not in yourselves. It is not you delivering the miracles. It is me. So do not fear man. And that's in bold. Trust in my name. Trust in my mighty name. Oh, how wonderful these days of Elijah are to me. I am, will be glorified and no other. Boast in my name. Yes, I say boast in my name. Tell them about me. Share in my miraculous signs and wonders. I have given you the authority to heal in the name, to heal in my name and to cast out demons in my name. Get moving, children, as I am moving in your land. Don't forget to praise me and worship my holy name. It is I and only I, the great I am, who receives all the glory. You, my children, are the apple of my eye, are the apples of my eye. It is time for you, my beauties, to shine. It pleases me to see your joy. Keep going and don't stop, for my glory is here, saith the Lord of hosts. And that was, like I said, um, on 4-18-2022. Hallelujah. We need to get busy. We need to get moving. Um, Sorry, I anointed my tongue with oil before I do that. Before I come on here, I anoint my tongue with oil. And so I just, um, I consecrate it to him so he can have his way in me. And that the Holy Spirit can just move and, and have his way. Because this is not for me. <laughs> I just give myself to him. And I consecrate my my tongue and my mouth for him. And so, got a little icky. I had to wash it down. <laughs> So anyways, hallelujah, praise the Lord. We need to start doing what he's saying to do. This is like a marching order, or I don't know, not a marching order. This is, the, he's telling us, it's almost like a command. Get out there and do what I am saying to do. It's time for his glory to, um, to just be seen through us. And the miracle signs and wonders are here. And, um, so that was the word that I got. And then this one, I actually told you guys about this. Um, the other day I, he's doing a new thing in me and, um, I was in the glory with him, um, on 12, 10. So this was December 10th of 2022, um, a couple weeks ago. And he, um, and I was just, I was in the glory and he said, grab your phone. I heard the Holy Spirit say, get your phone. And so, um, I grabbed my phone and, uh, he, I just started prophesying. So I recorded it and then, um, so I transcribed it and, or whatever, wrote it down the other day. And so, um, here it is. I got this on 12, 10, 2022. And this is what he says. And it goes along with this other word. And so that's why I just love how he just orchestrates everything. It's just, it's, he's so amazing. You guys, he's just so amazing. Um, this is what he says. Um, my children, the time is upon you where my glory will fill you full. It will fill you to the fullest, overflowing to the maximum capacity that you have ever seen or felt in the history of the world, says the Lord. I can feel the Holy Spirit all over me. You are indeed living in the end times. These are the last days that my word speaks about. I'm calling to my children my remnant, my beautiful Ecclesia, to rise up and stand in this hour. This is the hour that is upon you, that you will do mighty, mighty things in my name. Whew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My power will flow through you like never seen before. That's in bold. You will do wonderful, glorious things in my name, says the Lord of hosts. The world's eyes will be upon me in this hour that is upon you. So I'm calling unto you, my children, to go. Let go of it all. Let go of the things that you see and that you will see in the near future. Let go of all the harassment and all the things your adversary has tried to put upon you and that has tried to hold you captive. Let go of these things, my children, and look to me, says the Lord. Where is your faith? I need your faith in this hour. That's in bold. I move, I move with faith and faith alone. All of those, all of those 
all of all of those all of you my children whose faith is in me and only me will do wonderful mighty things in these days to come do not fear these things that are coming says the lord as these things have been spoken about in my word they have been spoken and my words do not return unto me void they must come to my they must come to pass my children and you are they must come to pass my children and you were living in the days that my word words must go forth and do all that I have called them to do and accomplish so look to me my children keep your eyes on me do not let what you see around you distract you from me and who I am and what my words what my word says for my word says walk by faith and not by sight that's in bold um, actually, uh, the part that says, do not, do not let what you see around you distract you from me and who I am. That's in bold. Um, and what my word says for my word says, walk by faith and not by sight. There is a reason for that. You must in this hour, walk by faith and not by sight says the Lord says the Lord of hosts. For glorious, wonderful things are up ahead for you, my children. It is a time to rejoice. It is a time to sing praises unto me. The hour is drawing so close for my son to return to get all of you to bring to me, says the Lord. Oh, how excited I am to know that we will be together forever, soon and very soon. Oh, how excited I am for you, children. Um, and then I wrote, the Holy Spirit fell on me so hard, I started crying when prophesying this. So um, when I was prophesying to my phone, um, when I replayed it the other day and, and transcribed it or wrote it down, I was crying. I was actually literally crying when I, and I just wanted to note that. Um, so how excited I am to know that we will be together forever, soon and very soon. Oh, how excited I am for you children. For what is coming, for it will be wonderful. I see the joy in your eyes now, my children. I see the glorious, wonderful signs and wonders you're going to do in my, in, in my son's name, Jesus. You will do greater works than he did as he walked on the earth. You will do greater works than these, as he said when he was with his disciples. Wonderful things are ahead for you. Wonderful things, says the Lord. So look to me, my children, stay in me, stay in my word, stay in my presence. Don't get distracted and know your victory is here. That's in bold. Your victory is now. Rejoice, my children, rejoice. I say it again, rejoice, my children, rejoice and praise my holy name for I am worthy of all the praise, says the Lord in the name of my son, Yeshua, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And I felt the Holy Spirit all over that when I just released that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. So, you guys, we are living in some amazing times. And God is saying, He is filling us with His glory. That we are going to do what He, what Jesus did on this earth. They're, they're already happening all over the globe. I mean, they're, it's, it's happening. But He wants to use us. He's saying, He's commanding us. He's saying, if I tell you to lay your hands on the sick do it and don't fear don't fear man don't don't if you see somebody you know if he if if he just you know and i'm guilty of this because i felt like the holy spirit like i don't know a couple months ago i i felt like the holy spirit i saw somebody in a wheelchair and um um at the market and i felt like i was supposed to pray for that person and i did not and so after that person was gone i just felt like this conviction like I didn't listen, like I didn't obey, like I felt in my spirit so strong that I was supposed to lay my hands on that person and pray. And I didn't. And so then I felt guilt. I was just like, I just, but I was like, it's okay. You know, I, like after I felt guilt, I was I the Holy Spirit was like, don't feel guilty. There'll be another time. Trust me. And so we're living in this hour where God is saying, you know, that miracle signs and wonders are to follow his children. Just like Jesus said, we would we would do greater works we will we do than he did when he was here and the lord is saying that that we're living in those days you guys and um 
there are things that that are going to come that are going to happen and we don't know what those things are exactly you know where uh like he's been saying that everything that can be shaken will be shaken we don't know what that literally consists of we don't know but i do know that he's saying when this happens that this is where we will shine in the darkness so I just feel in my spirit that whatever we have to go through in this next little bit of time, the next few years even, you know, that um, we are living in the end times. We are living in the last days, you guys. And there has to be a restoration of the body of Christ. There, we have to be a clean, spotless bride before Jesus is coming back. So those of you who think, you know, that Jesus is just going to come back and take us away like tomorrow you are sadly mistaken and I'm sorry and I might lose some subscribers for this and I, I don't I don't care because that will not happen if you look at the church it is completely divided it is a mess people are you know talking smack on 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 each other it is a mess you guys it is just it breaks my heart like I literally I cry for the body of Christ you know, all the time. Not you guys, of course. Because <laughs> you guys are all awake. But there's so many others. Like, I have literally gone across some... I, I've I've just, just stumbled across some YouTube channels. And then, and then I read the comments. I don't even listen to the videos. I just read the comments. And I'm going, oh my goodness, graciousness, this is the body of Christ? And I'm like going, this is crazy. Like what in the world is going on out there? You know, I mean, for real, it is not good. It is ugly. So no wonder why the Lord is speaking all these things and saying, you know, I mean, there's so many words that he has, you know, it's, it's just, just in the word yesterday, he said that I released, he said, Maybe it was the day before. I don't know. That it breaks his heart to see what his children are doing and how they're, you know, and, and that they're not awake and that they're, they're completely blinded, completely blinded. They are. And that's why this, you know, the separation, it's good. The, the falling away that he talked about yesterday, that there's going to be a falling away um, for a short time. He's going to pull him back in. He said, um, but we are living in the end times, you guys. We're living in the last days. And so we need, we as the, we that are awake will be used in this, in this hour to do miracle signs and wonders like Jesus did. And so, um, so I have some scriptures that, um, I need to go over really quickly. Um, and I did not write them all down. I did write down a couple, but I didn't write them all down. So, um, Bear with me as I'm sitting in my car. John 14, um, John 14, 11 through 14 says, um, where is it? Just believe, just believe it that I am the father. This is the new living translation. Um, just believe it that I am in the father and the father is in me or else believe it because of the mighty miracles you have seen me do and solemn truth. I tell you. Anyone believing in me shall do the same miracles I have done, even greater ones, because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask him for anything using my name, and I will do it, for this will bring praise to my name. Or Sorry, this will br bring praise to the Father because of what I, the Son, will do for you. Yes, ask anything anything using my name and I will do it. And so he's saying, you're going to do greater works than I did. You're going to do greater works than these. And it will bring glory to, to the father. And that's what the Lord is saying in this prophetic word is that, um, he will be his glory. He's going to receive the glory and it's all about him. It's about him receiving the glory. It's not about us. So he's saying, boast in my name, boast in my name. 
So we need to walk around boasting in the name of Jesus and in and, and, and the Father and in the Holy Spirit. We need to be speaking and declaring his name and declaring who he is. And sh he says, share them with me. Share them with me. So we are in this season, in this hour, in this time, the end times where God is going to use us to bring in the harvest, to bring in the lost, to bring in. We have to have a final harvest before Jesus comes back and the church has to be cleaned up. And so he's going to shake them awake. He's going to shake the body. The ones that are sleeping still, completely asleep, he's going to shake them awake. And so we are living in this time. We're living in a time of him shaking everybody awake. Not just the body of Christ who's sleeping, but the world. To get the world's attention. To bring them in. So that Jesus can come back and get us. Jesus, God wants us. He's like, I want, I can't wait. We're going to be together forever. And so, oh my goodness, how exciting is this? I'm so excited you guys shoot the boot. I just, but we have a lot of work to do. We have work to do before he can come back. And so, and the first thing we got to stop doing is complaining and, 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 and fighting against each other. We need to come in one accord and we need to, you know, come together as a body and, you know, um, and do what he is, is asking us to do. And it's, it's, it's time, it's time for us to shine, you know? And so, um, and to get in his word and to, to know what his word says so that we, to, so that our faith will, will get in alignment with him and with, with the, with how he wants us to be. He's saying, I move by faith. I, I, I will do amazing, wonderful things. If you believe in me, if you believe I'll do it, I will do it. And so that's where we need to, he's just like, Get in your faith. Where's your faith? He says, where is your faith? I need your faith right now. I need your faith so I can use you. He wants to use you. And so praise the Lord. Um, Matthew 19, 26. I did write this one down. Um, but Jesus looked at him and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So it's not us doing it in our own strength. Like, like the first prophetic word said, it's not you. So don't believe in yourself. Believe in God because it's not you doing it. It's God doing it through you and in the name of Jesus. And so, um, and then that was, sorry, did I say Matthew nineteen twenty six is what that was. And then Matthew 17 and 20, Matthew 17 and 20. Matthew 17 and 20. This is in the New Living Translation. Uh, because of your little faith, Jesus told them. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see. Um, okay, afterwards. Okay, I'm going to start in 19. Nope, I'm going to start in 17. Sorry, 17, 17. John, or Matthew 17 and 17. Jesus replied, Oh, you stubborn, faithless people. How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Then Jesus rebuked a demon and the boy, and it left him. And from that moment, the boy was well. Afterwards, the disciples asked privately, why couldn't we cast out the demon? Because of your little faith. Jesus told them, for if you, have, if you had faith, even as small as a tiny mustard seed, so you don't need a whole lot of faith, as tiny as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move and it will go far away nothing would be impossible so nothing's impossible without you know with with the faith so he's saying just as small as a tiny mustard seed you don't have to have like this crazy faith that's just like you know like it's just as small as a mustard seed but you have to have faith and so he's saying oh you have little faith and that's where god's saying where's your faith you know, kind of just like what the scripture says here. Oh, ye of little faith. And so um, that's Matthew 17 and 17 through um, through 20, I believe. And uh, yeah, and then we have Matthew 21 and 21. 
these are basically just faith scriptures talking about faith and and healings and the miracle signs and wonders that um that god is saying that we're going to do uh, matthew 21 21 then jesus told them truly if you have faith and do not doubt you can do things like this and much more you can even say to this mount of olives move over into the ocean and it will he was talking about it on the word yesterday. I should have, but I didn't get the scripture until, um, until this word. But anyway, um, he talked about tell that mountain to move. That was in the prophetic word yesterday. He said, tell that mountain to move out of your way. And so, um, so uh, truly, if you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this Mount of Olives, move over into the ocean and it will and it will you can get anything anything you ask for in prayer if you believe so anything that you ask in prayer in the name of Jesus as long as it is align in, in alignment with God's will for us for, for your life you know and it's 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 not something bad <laughs> Or it's not in God's will for you. You can ask it and it'll be, it'll be done. It may not be done immediately, but it will be done if you have faith and you believe. And that's the word of God, you guys. He's saying, so we have to literally believe what he is saying. Okay? We have to believe what his word says and what these prophetic words are saying. Um, Acts 19 and 11 Hold on, guys. I gotta move this over here. Acts 19 and 11. Um, it says, and, and God, and God gave Paul the power to do unusual miracles so that even when his even when his handkerchiefs or parts of his clothing clothing were placed upon sick people, they were healed and demons within them um, came out. And so that's just an illustration of, um, of, you know, Paul was doing miracles, laying his hands, even his handkerchief. Well, he was laying it over him and they were being healed because God's power was in it. And so you know that that was Paul doing this hallelujah and then um Hebrews 11 1 this is important 11 1 these last two scriptures I'm going to give you are important um so 11 and 1 says now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see so faith is what we you know it's what we're praying for and asking for and believing for and we don't see it yet but faith is saying no i see it i have it it's mine and so when i pray i literally pray and then i ask him for what i'm praying for and then i thank him for it and i've been doing this for years and you know of course sometimes the enemy will come in and all the time he's going to come in and, and lie to you and say oh da, 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 whatever but you pray, you ask, and then you believe you receive it and you just thank him for it, you know, and just praise him for it. And just, and then, you know, even until you see it come to pass, until you see it come to pass, you just, you say, Lord, I'm reminding you, I prayed for it and I thank you for it. I thank you. I believe I receive it. I have it. It's mine. And I give you all the glory and all the honor, all the praise for it. And I thank you that it's mine. I thank you that I have what, what I asked for. Remember, as long as it's within his will, if it's for healing, that's definitely in his will. You know, if it's, if it's to be used or, you know, anything, anything within his will for your life, you pray it, you ask for it. He says, you, you have not because you ask not, you have not because you ask not. So I remind him sometimes, I mean, a lot of times when I pray, I say, Lord, you say, I have not because I ask not. And so I ask you in the name of Jesus for whatever it is, you know, in Jesus name. Um, 
And so, uh, and then I just thank him for it and I, and I call it in and I'm just like, nope. And I, and I decree and declare it in. I call it in. I said, no, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I asked and I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for it. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you until the day I see it. I give you thanks and praise father in Jesus name. And then Hebrews eleven six. but without faith, this is what he said in the first word. Oh no. The second word, it was all about faith basically and glory. And us doing, you know, mighty works um, about him receiving all the glory. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe he is. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So if we're always seeking him and, and in his presence, and he's going to reward you. And you will see. And you have that faith in him. And you and it, it says right here. It's impossible to please God without faith. So if you're not having the faith in who he is and what he'll do for you, he's no respecter of persons. He will do whatever it is that you, he's not going to do that for me and not for you or anybody else and not for you. No, he's, he will do it if you believe it and you, and you just believe it. You believe you have the faith, the faith and he will move. He will move on your behalf on anything if you have faith, I'm going to read it again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So we can go to the father with anything, anything in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And ask him and he will do it. And it doesn't mean, I mean, it, it, it means anything and everything. Like I said, anything his word said in Matthew um, 21 and 21 or, or all of them pretty much just. So that's where we are. You guys, we are in a time, a season for miracles, signs and wonders. God is saying, this is God's speaking. This is what he's speaking. And I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm honored to be the messenger. And so um, I love you guys so much. And I really hope this is encouraging to you and that it builds up your faith because that's what we need right now. God is saying, where is your faith? And it's not the first time he's given me a word where he said, I need your faith. I need your faith in this hour um, because there is shakings coming. There are shakings coming. You guys, it's pro it's, it's spoken about in his word. He's saying you are living in the end times. You're living in the last days. Shakings have to come so that restoration can come to the body, to the people, so that the harvest can come in, so Jesus can come back. And I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. No, but we are in the beginning. We, we are in the end times. So things are going to start to unfold. Things that are written about in the, in the scriptures, you know. And no, I'm not saying we're going to go through the tribulation. I'm not saying that either. But things have to happen in order for, for God to restore because we have to be re restored first. And the bride has to be spotless and clean and beautiful, beautiful. And as these shakings come, we, the body of Christ, are going to be protected from all that's going on around us. And we will be the light that's shining bright. So people are going to go, Oh my gosh, why, why are they not affected? Why are they not moved by everything that's going on in the world? Because we're standing on what the scriptures say. We're standing on Jesus Christ. We're standing on the solid rock in which we stand. We're standing and the, the Lord is giving us his peace that passes all understanding because we're in him. We won't be moved. We will not be affected by the chaos that's going on around us. And in turn, he's going to use us to shine bright and people are going to go, whatever they, and, and then we're going to be doing mir miracle signs and wonders. Oh, I have the Holy Spirit all over me right now. We'll be doing miracle signs and wonders. And that's, what's going to bring people to Christ. So yeah, there's going to be a little hell breaking loose, you know, and the enemy is going, going to cause some havoc. You know, but we won't be touched. We won't be touched. We won't be moved. 
Yes, we'll see some stuff. We'll hear some stuff. I mean, shoot the boot. Look at us now. It's like everything that's going on in the world that's all over plastered all over social media and all over the news, the fake news. I'm telling you, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I had a dream the other day. Um, let me get this out really quick before I forget because I meant to tell you the last two videos and I didn't. I, had a, I woke up and I had a dream about Obama and he was he was freaking out. He was panicked like he was driving this car that it was falling apart. It was falling apart, literally. There was pieces of the bumper falling off and there was just his, it was a mess. <laughs> this car, it was a little old car. It was little and it was a mess and Obama was driving it and he was scared to death. He was scared to death and I woke up. That was it. That was all in my, that was it. It was a dream. It was a prophetic dream. What does that mean? Well, I take it that uh, Obama's really scared right now and everything around him is falling apart. And he knows it. Yes, Obama, Mr. Obama, your world is coming, crashing down all around you. And you're going to be exposed for all of it in the name of Jesus. And I'm not afraid to, to speak it out. Nope. It's a prophetic word that the Lord gave me, a prophetic, you know, dream. And so, hallelujah. Anyway, praise God. Don't be moved by whatever comes. Don't be shaken. Don't be moved. You stand on Christ, the solid rock, and you stay in the Lord's presence. And you stay, you, we continue to shout what the Lord has told us to shout, shout, shout the enemies of Almighty God down. You know, decree and declare our victories every single day over it all, over everything, not just in the world and in the government, the fake government, fraudulent government, but um, in your personal lives, in your personal lives, in your families. If you have a prodigal, don't quit. Don't give up. You call them in. You call them home in the name of Jesus Christ. I am. I haven't shared that yet because I have one who watches, but I'm calling her in. Yes, I am. And I'm not quitting and I know it's coming. Hallelujah. And so, praise God. And I'm not giving up. Um, hallelujah. So, you don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit. No matter what is going on around us. That was in a prophetic word yesterday. Do not quit. Do not give up. Don't do it. And, um... That's what the enemy wants us to do is to quit and give up. Do not quit and do not give up. And so, um, anyway, I love you guys. Um, have a super blessed day. And I really hope this encourages you. And um, just get your faith up. Get in his presence. Get in his word. Read about who God says we are. Who God says we are. Who Jesus, when he was walking the earth, he said the things that we were going to do. Get those words deep down in your heart so that when he does say, go lay your hands on that person and, you know, whatever, you do it and watch what he does. And so we're in those days. We're in these days, you guys, that are upon us. And the Lord's saying he sees the joy in our faces. Both those words, he speaks about the joy in our faces. That's why I was blown away because I hadn't even read that word in nine months. He gave me that word nine months ago and they were the same word. And I had no idea that he was, that I, I opened it up and I forgot about it. I literally forgot about it until this morning. It was when I opened up this journal, I was like, all right, Lord, I know that you want me to give a, a word. I opened it and it was the, it was the first tag, you know, from way back when, nine months ago. And it lines up exactly with the word that he gave me on December 10th. Two words. Two words. It was like a confirmation to the first one that, you know, and, and just, I don't know. I don't know. He He's the orchestrator of all things. He, you know, and I didn't make my dog a, a dog appointment, <laughs> a grooming appointment. And somehow I'm out here, you know, um, giving a word. This was not my plan. And I know it's already 40, 40 minutes in, but I can't help it. The Holy Spirit, like I said, I, I let him have his way. So praise the Lord. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll be back on tomorrow. I don't know. I have another word that he gave me. It was very, very intense. 
um, that I prophesied. Um, I don't know what day it was. It was probably a week ago or two weeks ago and, and my husband was gone and I, and once again, I was just pacing in my glory girl like I used to do when he was at work every day. And, um, and I just, the Lord said, I just felt I had to grab my phone and sure enough, you know, when the, when the, when the glory falls on you and the Holy spirit, you just, sometimes you don't have to hear even grab your phone. You just know, you just know, okay, I got to grab my phone or I got to, I'm going to, he's going to give me a prophetic word. And, and it's a, it was a different feeling. It was like just different. He's doing something different in me and new in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, father. But, um, but yeah, so I grabbed my phone and, and so it's going to be a long one. I know that, um, I haven't written it down yet, but, um, I got to do that. But it, it was like, uh, like an eight minute, I was, it was an eight minute prophetic word and that's speaking. So, and it was very, very intense. I was, it was very, the Holy Spirit was, it was serious. I don't even remember what it said. I don't, I just remember how I felt while I was receiving the word. And so, um, I need to get that done so I can get it out to you guys. Um, whenever he sees fit, he'll make time for me. Just like he did the, the last one. I just did that the other day. And now here I am today releasing it. So, um, he's in control of it all and, um, it'll come out when it comes out. But, um, but anyway, I love you guys so much. And, um, I will be back whenever he sends me back. Um, this is three days in a row. It's quite the miracle if you ask me. Um, and so I love you and God bless you and Jesus loves you. And I don't know why I grabbed my phone, but I did. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean to, but anyway, God bless you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And, um, I'll be back soon. Jesus loves you. Have a good day.